Mahalo, everybody. Big Daddy here, Big Dick Ballistics, coming at you today with some product reviews from Moonlight Industries. Before we do that, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way, when we do some new gear drops and product review drops, you get the notifications right away so you can stay on top of it. Also, check out BigDickBallistics.com. There you can find these awesome shirts. You can represent the Big Dick Battalion. Get it out there that you support us, support the Second Amendment, you train. Every dollar that you spend on there is going back into the channel to provide you with more new content, gear reviews for the responsibly armed citizen, law enforcement officer, or military service member. Due to institutional inbreeding at work, I was always using a dedicated carrier setup with a triple shingle for three M4 magazines. It worked, it was good. We ran tier tactical Picos which are an awesome plate carrier, but it lacked the ability to perform multi-mission applications, going from different weapon systems and so on and so forth. Sometimes I would run my personal carrier at work, which is a Shellback Tactical Banshee. Those of you who know Shellback Tactical, they make the Banshee, they're made in America, the price point's decent, the quality is there. I've been running them for years, they accept any cummerbund and they come slick. Now, I ran London Bridge Training Company dedicated M4 pouches in the front and they worked. They worked for years. One day I was on Instagram and I saw an advertisement for Moonlight Industries. They were offering standalone chest rigs and adaptable placards at a reasonable price. So I decided to pick two up. One for MP5 applications, some machine gun applications, and one for the M4 carbine. At $99 you can't go wrong. After the fact, I realized I have no way of hooking these things up to my slick plate carrier. The original Banshees come in a slick format. They don't have swift clips on them, which you would need to retrofit. After doing a little research on eBay, I found 8492 Nylon Works. They're a company that's veteran owned and they make swift clip adapters that hang vertically to accept such placards. SKDTactical.com offers up a product by Axel, that is a vertical loop adapter. And they come in many shapes and colors, and sizes. This one's in Coyote Brown, which I'm actually gonna put on my Multicam Banshee. They were out of black at the time, so I signed up for notifications for that. So when it comes back in stock, I'm gonna order it. I also ordered Velocity System Swift Clips with a set of vertical hangers and two sets of horizontal hangers for your carrier. All available on skd.com and multiple colors. Black, coyote, ranger green. About a week or two went by since I ordered from Moonlight Industries. And I didn't hear anything from them. So I sent them an email to their customer service and Jason got back to me right away. Uh, I informed him of my channel and what I do for a living and said that I'm very excited to use this stuff. And he offered me a placard for T&E purposes. So they custom made one for me for work that we ran hard for nine weeks so far and it performed awesomely. But before we get into that, I'm gonna show you the modularity of what we have right now. First up, we have the M4PS Skunk. Now this holds two 30 round mags and two Glock, Sig, Beretta mags, whatever you prefer, and they're very tight. It's closed cell elastic. It's very good. They have a drop loop on the bottom. That way you can't push the uh, M4 magazines through. Very good. It also has a spot for a tourniquet on there. At first I thought it was a magazine pouch and it wasn't holding and stupid me, I should have read the website. It's got a ridiculously high quality harness on here. If I went down, I could be dragged by this thing. It's that good. Also the buckles on here, are the same quality as the Velocity System Swift Clips. So I know that they're high quality. I could probably smash these things with a dumbbell and nothing's gonna happen to them. Also, if you look how compact this thing is, this is great. You could throw this without even magazines in a cargo pocket if you wanted to. They're very thin and they would be great for contractor work. So you can see how thin that is. It's literally as thin as the magazine. Width going down is probably about a quarter inch to a third wider with the material. So on your chest up high, there's not much. These would be great for contractor work, 
uh, doing some kind of dignitary protection where you need to keep a low profile. And you can wear a slick soft vest underneath here, throw this on top and be good to go at the drop of a hat. Next up, we have the SMG skunk, the submachine gun skunk. So in here, I have three Heckler and Koch magazines and I have one USC magazine. So that's the skinny dicked version of the UMP magazine. It's a 10 round 45 ACP mag. Also has a TQ holder and here I have a Sam splint tourniquet. So it's a bit of a knockoff of the North American Rescue Cat Gen XYZ 69, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a little bit thicker, but again, this thing works. If you look at that profile, it's so thin. It would be great. Again, contractor work, dignitary protection on the go. Bottom, the cells are closed up, so the mags just aren't going to escape down. You can push them down all the way. These things aren't coming out. I'm going to give them a good hard shake. But they're not coming out. They're also not loaded. But again, the harness, it's a cross harness that goes across your back. And you have a waist harness here. The material, I would consider comparable to the True North Concepts leg straps. And... Again, I only know what I know um, due to institutional inbreeding and being dictated by my department's guidelines. I have the same equipment for years. So this is all new to me. If it's not new to you, cool man, operate. But uh, again, this is great. So now I'm gonna show you the modularity of both. Um, we're gonna start with the M4. We'll go back to that. These Swift clips. Mount them vertical first. Now I would put this on after you don your plate carrier. And they give you plenty of room to work with on here. I had to Velcro tape the ends up. But again, that's it. It stays nice and tight to the body. Uh, we'll go to the video clip, me running a carbine with it. and everything is nice and tight to me. I like that. Now, I doubled up on the lateral, the side to side swift clips. I realized I didn't have to after the fact. So I have extra to play with, extra left over. But again, you don't need two laterally. You just need the bottom one and the top one and you're good to go. Now, if my mission set changes, it's very simple. All I have to do, I disconnect my swift clips. And I go from running essentially a long gun, whether it's a CQB situation or whatever, that I would require my long gun. And I would clip right in to my sub gun setup. And there you go. It's very much that simple. These chest rigs, the skunks, do not have Velcro on the back. But if you elect to, it wouldn't be that hard. Buy some hook and loop material. You put it across the back using probably some super glue, gorilla glue, whatever you have. And then underneath, you could run this axle set up and it'll marry it right to there. It'll be even more rock solid. Then you wouldn't need the lateral swift clips. I would still run the lateral swift clips anyway. First two I paid for, this one coming up, they gave me on the arm the T&E. And we ran it very hard for nine weeks along with the SMG Skunk. This is the PDW MCR. This is convertible. It's for a play carrier or standalone, and it's very girthy. So the PDW MCR convertible is a little bit thicker with the nylon in terms of quality. The bottom is closed, but it's non-adjustable. So Jason over there told me that depending on my department's needs or my needs, they could tailor it to be a little deeper or a little higher depending on how high you want your magazines exposed for that reload. Uh, the tops have elastic bungee on there. They're good, nice high quality. Those, they can be adjusted as well. There's hook and loop on the front. We also have a dangler on here, which is detachable. And if you want to take it off, you can take it off. It's wedged in between the back piece of hook and loop. And we'll get into that in a second. The side has a one inch piece of webbing. You can put a mod light, you can put an extra battery. Uh, chem light, whatever you want in there. The other side, uh, it's got a smaller one, uh, a looped piece of elastic. You could put a Sharpie, a needle decompression needle on there. So that's cool. 
Now the webbing differs in this uh, aspect because it doesn't have swift clips on the side. You don't need them because the back is all hook and loop. This thing is a little bit beefier, a little bit more stiff and rigid, just like Big Dick Ballistics. And you can see that this hook and loop comes back. And if you have that axle adapter on there, it just stays glued to your chest, which I like. Also, like I was saying before, this TQ dangler, the girthy one, comes right off. So if you have one already sitting on one of those FUPA dangler med pouches, you could take this right off. But it is a really nice option in here again. I transferred from the other one. This is the Sam Splint Tourniquet. But you could fit a soft T wide easily. Uh, Cat Gen 7 Recon Medical Tourniquet. There's a million ones out there. Just don't buy the cheap shit ones. We used and abused these things for nine weeks. And they held up. All the guys liked them. The ease of adjustability, lightning fast reloads, the ability to stow mags in case you were working on a malfunction or something like that, it's all there. It's a little bit easier with the MCR just because the cells don't close on you. They stay open for a quick easy exchange to stow them. This one runs a little more depending on the style of camo that you want. It also has an option for a UMP magazine. So the MP5 would be separate from the UMP due to the girth of the magazines. Now discussing this with Jason, he told me that the skunks were dedicated as a standalone carrier. However, you can see from my video that they're versatile and they function. There's a lot of great equipment out there. These are made in America, made in Arizona, hand stitched. You can see all their videos online, they're really cool. They have that Warhol rig, which I think I'm gonna buy eventually. It's cool, it's got some Gucci or Louis Vuitton stuff on it. It's got some 80s splatter paint, AOR1, multicam, black, everything, and then some. Uh, very cool. So if you wanna support an American made company, from Arizona that's making good stuff for the modern warrior, gunfighter, responsibly armed civilian, check out Moonlight Industries. If you have any problems talking to them, email Jason. He is awesome and I really thank him so much for giving me the opportunity uh, to test and eval this stuff. It's gonna be great. Uh, I'm giving this to one of the guys that's going in the field full time soon and he's gonna love it. So thanks for watching everybody. Support the channel. Keep training, educate yourselves, educate your family. Be safe.